thought defensively in the first half we were pretty good. We got them sped up a little bit and uh, were able to get out. I, I, I did think they did a good job of slowing the tempo. And we played too slow, uh, not necessarily shooting the ball fast, but I mean we, we kept throwing the ball backwards against the, the, the soft pressure. We need to throw the ball forwards and try to attack a little bit more. And I thought, with the exception of the last you know, couple minutes, the last ten minutes of the game, they were plus nine because I didn't think we. we Guarded at all, especially the last three or four minutes. That was a really disappointing part of it. Uh, the weather shoot 48% in the second half, but uh, 23 assists on 27 uh, uh, field goals was good news, and uh, I thought we rebounded the ball for the most part pretty well. I'm going to dive into Mark Eddy stuff real quick. Obviously, it's got Mark Eddy back, and you are going to ease him in, and you eased him in tonight. How, how do you think he looked in those nine minutes? Well, the timing with everything. His time was going to be off, our time was going to be off. It's going to take a while, and that's not a thing to an easy transition. These guys know that, and, and if this is probably uh, our whole team is probably a month away or, or a little bit longer from being uh, anywhere near we want to get. And I thought we were a little sluggish today. Uh, or, you know, we didn't have a we didn't have a great great pop, but uh, you know it's good to have our, you know get all hands on deck, and hopefully we get Ricky back here to practice here soon. What's up with Ricky? I wasn't aware. Well, he has tonsils out, so he's been. Oh, out that's right. So man. he's still. So hopefully, you know, and these guys know better than anybody. Once, once you get everybody back, now your practices become better. That's when you get better. And, and Brandon, what was it like to have uh, Mark on the floor? That's the first time you played with Mark on the floor, actually. Yeah, well, you know, it's always good to have him around. You know, very energetic, and you know, he just lifts the spirit of our team. So, his, you know, he's a good leader, and he he share, he has all the qualities that we need to. You know, take a step forward, and so you know we're all glad that just having back and his presence is was pretty good tonight for us. So, Mark, I was watching you uh, waiting to check in. I was anxious, you know I me. Mean? I worked, um, <laughs> I worked extremely hard, so I was just waiting for my opportunity. And I just made sure that when I wasn't in the game, that I was still involved, talking to the guys, telling them where to be, because I am a fifth-year senior, and um, I've learned a lot from coach throughout the years. So I make sure to utilize that tonight, because I understand that the, um, the situation was different because I have to get back into the mm -hmm. playing again. So and that's why I always respect whatever coach makes, because he always have a best interest in mind. What uh, you got not one ovation tonight? You got uh, three or four or five ovations tonight. What what, what that mean to you? Man? Um, that means a lot to me. You know what? Like I'm very thankful that um. To be here, you know what I'm saying? Because I had opportunity, I had opportunity at Tulane, and um, I don't think I took full advantage of that. And FGC took me in with open arms. That's why I'm so appreciative of everything, and that's why I play with a lot of passion because I'm thankful for everything that Fort Myers, Florida, have done for me. How did you feel out there, and, and how is the hand? Um, the hand is doing great. Um, that's why I listen to Coach because um, Coach was telling me what to do. He said, "Do your rehab. Make sure you strengthen it. Make sure you do what you need to do." Just because even though you won't be ready when you want to be ready, but just believe in the process. And I make sure to follow the process and stuff like that. Do your legs feel good? Or are you in, in total shape? I won't say total shape. Uh -huh. I, I, I would not say total shape. Apparently I'm Joe wouldn't either. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, no, he, he knows. <laughs> It lasts about 25 to 30 minutes of practice. Yeah, practice. Right. Um, I burned out. You know me, I only have one pace. I only have one pace. I was going hard in about 25 minutes That's of practice. part of the process. I'm part of the process. So sure, not. sure. And then lastly, I'll get through the Mark Eddies with this one. Uh, heck, you made your first three-pointer tonight in your collegiate career. Let me, uh, uh, let me tell you something that you guys probably don't know. The, the minute I came here, Coach tried to get me to shoot threes every day. He kept telling me, Mark, shoot threes, Mark, shoot threes, Mark, shoot threes. That'll help me make a lot of money once he's done playing. And it took me until my fifth year to finally have the confidence to shoot. Last year, I've attempted two of them, but that was because I had to. And tonight, um, Brendan communicated with me. He told me where to be, and I made sure to be in the perfect position. He said, Mark, when you shoot, you just hold your follow through because if you believe in the process, the ball will go in. And it, it was lucky. I'm not even going to lie. I just shot it, held my follow through, do what Coach Tumblr do every day in practice. And look, if you do the right things, good things happen. All right, Jim. Jansen, young lady. <laughs> CT, you hit a. Uh Four three pointers tonight. Were you locked in from downtown? Um, yeah, I just took open shots and they were falling tonight. Nothing really special about it. For sure. Casual business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. business as usual. Got a trend with this team. You guys take open threes and you make a hell of a lot of them. Yeah, we're actually shooting them this year, so yeah. that's that a good thing. <laughs> yeah. The coach gets mad when we don't take open threes. So yeah. He even get mad at me, and I'm a center. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big man. I don't shoot threes. <laughs> so, so how do you guys feel going into uh, going into the next game? Long Beach State, I, I, I doubt you've had much of a look at them, Brandon. But or no, we have. I mean, not not really film wise, but we know we we looked at our, their schedule and they played just as tough of a, of a schedule as we have. Mm -hmm. 
So we're looking to come out with the same enthusiasm we've had in the first four games. Tonight we were kind of sluggish, like Coach said, and so we have to pick it back up, pick up our pace, and you know, regroup tomorrow in practice. Joe, I looked at Long Beach. Uh, like he said, they played at UCLA, at Washington. Played pretty close at Washington, Washington at Louisville, North Carolina, Carolina. Louisville, Wichita State. They, they played an unbelievable schedule. I, mean, I think when you look at it, uh, you know Wichita and they had Wichita State. They opened, they had a non-one, then they went to Wichita State and went to Louisville, and they've gone to UCLA and Washington and Carolina between us. They will still have Kansas on there somewhere. Uh, I mean, they've, they've done that historically and played a really tough schedule. They can really score, very athletic. They're predicted to win their league uh, almost unanimously. So I think you know we're definitely going to have our hands. We got to play with more energy and play with a, a, a lot more urgency on Friday. Uh, the game eleven kid averages uh, twelve point seven points and seven point five rebounds. He's good a, player. He's a he's a guy. He's very skilled. He can play. He's a four, but he's really a three. He can, he can move around the floor. He posts up a little bit. He can shoot it. Can drive it. Uh, you know he's had some some really good. Uh, you know they've had some really. Bivens is a you know a preseason all league player. They've got some really good talent. What do you want to see Friday night that you didn't see tonight? A um, little bit more, a better pace. I mean, I, th I thought we played, you know, they soft pressed us and we, we allowed them to sort of lull us to even mm -hmm. attack like we were like that. Now we did, we got going up and down a little bit, but, uh, and then just finishing down, just playing the right way. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't step on my throat when you had a chance. Well, to I had them down like 24, and then, you know, we made some subs, and that's, that, you know, that wasn't the way we wanted to end the game. Else? Yeah, Joe, uh, where are you at with your defense? I know it's still early, but like, how, how do you feel like that it's kind of progressing and, and if these guys are getting the concept? Uh, first half of 28% was very sad. Second half, especially we made some, uh, some subs, you know, you let people shoot 48%. That's, that's thoroughly disappointing. Um, but now, we guarded the three-point line, which had been a problem our first couple of years, and we've figured that out a little bit. But, I, I, you know, you also look at, again, you know, we didn't shoot, they shoot 18 free throws, we shoot eight. We've got to get that flipped to the right. I know we play a lot of man, and they played zone almost the entire game. But we, we, can't, we can't settle and just shoot jump shots the entire time. We've got to be attacking downhill and get on the backboard, get to the free throw line more. I think people have shot what 38 more or 40 more free throws than we have on the season. Yeah, something like that. And it seems like your one point of emphasis that you guys haven't really clicked on yet is uh, you want to force more turnovers. That's really not happening so far. It was 11. To, it was 11 tonight, which isn't. That's where that's not where that's probably below average is what that is. We need to get that up. I thought we had five or six hours, probably more than that, opportunities to steal balls that we were standing there. We had some deflections or there was two in a row where we didn't see the ball. I mean, we did through the ball one time, we didn't see the ball and we, we should have stolen the ball. They're just not being active enough in your I opinion? Think we're right? active, we're just going to be alert. You okay. Know, a, you know, you've you got to be active and alert. And I think that's having your head on the swivel and looking around. I mean, we talk about that all the time. Joe, when it comes to Antravius, how much are you guys really trying to, to work the offense inside to him, you know, kind of like a, an outside-to-inside game? Well, I mean, we all know if, if, if you play inside-out, it, it gives you a lot of different looks. I mean, the, the, the perimeter guys have done, historically, have done a good job of throwing the ball inside because we want to score inside. But they also realize that if they throw it inside, they'll get kick-out threes, they'll get forced closeouts, which is a lot easier to drive a closeout than it is a guy guarding you. So I think they've done a good job. And Trey has been finishing around the basket. We got Meach going a little bit, and you know, Ray Sean had a couple good finishes, and Mark, yeah. even though he played zone, Mark did some things. So I think those things all come together. Uh, especially that well, Michigan State played, on, played entirely man to man the other day, so that it changed the dynamics of the game for us. Was this kind of a, a much needed win to be able to kind of get over that kind of ugly taste in your mouth no, from Michigan State? We talked about it. This was a character. People want to see what type of character you have. You come out and feel sorry for yourselves, and. Um, you know, it is what it is, you know, we're not going to get it back, so now we got to move on to the next one and, and uh, learn from it. And Mark, got to ask you, you know, when you end up coming back, multiple ovations and finally get those first points of the season, what do you feel like? Um, to be honest, I wasn't really worried about the points. It just happened that I did the right play that Coach drew up and it got me a layup. But um, I'm just excited because all the hard work I put in, and that's the satisfaction of it, going out there and ex expressing myself. Because I love playing basketball, that's why I express my feelings and everything. So finally being able to being healthy to play again and it's a lot easier now to deal with life and everything else. So.